Dr. Phil. Hello, everybody. Back in Space Engineers, and I think today's goal is going to be doing some grinding of this mine carriage that we just jacked. So we're going to start off at the front of this thing and just start working our way down and see if we can build up our little starter ship and hopefully add a couple containers, get a refinery going, and test out some of the designs I've been working on. And I think they're pretty cool, so let's see what we can make today. We're going to speed this section up just a little bit. It's just a lot of massive grinding and going back and forth to the ship. So basically the, the goal here is to pull off the pieces that are going to fall off uh, on their own and kind of, it's like a little mini puzzle. So we're taking off some of the corner pieces right here. Everything's all connected up to that large cargo container and they're connected via the little side ports that you can access. So those are going to be the last pieces that we take off. Yeah, this is so much quicker than watching this. This is about a, like a 10 minute clip just going through trying to chop these pieces off so and you can see how many times I'm running back and forth to the to the connector on the the starter ship and you know so we're gonna end up making a, a grinding ship just to finish this thing off and later on if we find more of these types of ships we'll go ahead and get a you know like a large bay to put the ships into and just start grinding them just about done with this section here. So this should give us enough parts to build everything that we want to, for the moment at least. Don't forget in our last episode we ended up putting that merge block on our starter ship and connecting it to the mining carriage. And that'll allow us to take off all the thrusters and everything else and not have the ship just spin completely out of control. And we're just about done with this little segment get these last two pieces and then we'll start trying to build a little grinding ship. We'll take a, my favorite design, which is my little lump, the lightweight multi-purpose ship, and make one of the grinding units on that thing. Up here, I'm gonna make a new small ship. Throw that down. I'm gonna make a little mini power supply reactor, and then we need to find the projector. Never see him on that, so let's do a quick search. Where's that reactor? Around like red reactors, easy to spot. And we'll throw a little projector on top of this, and this will be like our little projecting ship um, because you can't use large proje projectors to make small ships. And I think you want to get it so the plus is on the top and the negative is facing backwards. I'm really not too certain. So let's go ahead and gather up some of the pieces that we need for this. Looks like some large steel tubes and a couple other bits. Um, we'll take it from there. Those three of those. Four of those. I think we're going to need a reactor component. Doesn't look like we got the material to make them. <laughs> so we got plenty of reactor pieces down there. Um, we'll be able to grab. We'll just put a few pieces into this and go grind one of those up really quick. Um, they, the large reactors give a uh, hundred reactor components, and we just need one. So we'll be able to get everything that we need. Looks like we need one more large steel tube too, and it shouldn't be a problem. So let's go ahead and remove the. Uh, uranium out of one of these reactors, and whichever one goes offline, uh, we'll take that one over. Oops. And this is the one. Nice. Now we got plenty of components to put all this stuff together. <laughs>
So when I'm doing the welding, I kind of like to move around a little bit. Makes me feel like I'm like welding the entire unit instead of just uh, welding a little portion of it, you know? It, I don't know if you've ever done welding before and you're never just pointing out one spot. Um, looks like our energy's getting a little bit low, so we'll try to finish this up really quick and I think we need to what, grab one large steel tube. Grab that steel tube and then go sit in our little <laughs> porta potty while we get some energy. <laughs> I love thinking those are porta potties. And steel tube, grab the steel tube. There you go. Yay, energy! Woo! Shouldn't be that exciting, but eh, whatever. Let's run that program while we're sitting here. Looks like the connectors are empty now. Components almost full. We'll have to make another one of those pretty soon. Oh, we need to grab some uranium. Just so we can get them connected easy. This is where the hard part is. Make sure we get this gyroscope first. And antenna. Small steel tubes. Construction components, computers, motors. So what else we can think of this? projector off and just weld up everything we got. One of the things with the, the blueprints that I found that, that made it a little bit easier to actually make uh, the ships when you're using them is just turning them off after you do like a small portion of it and just welding those pieces up. That way you don't have like a gyroscope in the middle of your unit that's just missing. You know, because if we just 
continued welding and putting everything together, we wouldn't be able to access this gyroscope right here. So I'm just flipping it on and off. It just really seems to help out a lot. And you don't want to get like, you know, 90% done with your ship and realize you got to chop out like the outer guts of it just to get the pieces back on. That military transporter's looking for us since we jacked this cargo thing. Ah, oh, we need more displays. Let's get some of that silicone processed if it's not already. we needed. Perfect. Let's get this projector back on. like, I don't know, a ton of large steel tubes. So let's grab a little bit of a steel plate and large tubes. We're going to have to throw this stuff back that we got. We just got too much of everything. Let's see the steel plates, a bunch of steel tubes. Now each one of these thruster components requires a, a large steel tube to initially get it placed in. Probably one of the heaviest items and one of the most annoying things to carry over when you're doing um, the realistic style inventory settings. About, uh, what is that? Maybe six more. Is that another military transporter? We gotta get this thing ground down quick before they find us. <laughs> okay, so there's some thruster components. Should be able to get most of these thrusters done pretty easy. Looks like most of it's done. Those reactors look really weird. They don't look look like they're complete. Huh. That's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and speed through this section. Um, it's pretty boring. You just going back and forth to the container to grab a bunch of stuff. So after we got the, the main frame of this thing taken care of, um, it's just adding all the extra pieces to it. So we'll do a little bit of management while we're sitting down grabbing some energy, grab all the components that we think we need, and just zip through this. All these little thrusters and components and just pieces needed. It, it, it's amazing how much you need for just a small ship. When I first started uh, doing the survival worlds in Space Engineers, I used to set every, like all the inventory to like 10. And I, I found it kind of um, boring because 
I, I didn't have to make all these little small ships to help me complete a function. And I just thought it was kind of cool um, doing it where you have to make a little grinding ship just to get, like, a really simple task completed. And the idea of, like, having cargo haulers and other pieces into the game, it, it just opened up a, a new style of gameplay. And when I was into the multiplayer servers, um, it helped out because whenever those would crash, I didn't lose all this, the material that I had. And I thought that was a, a pretty good way of doing it. And it. Looks like we're just about done. We're just finishing up the cockpit. We got enough bulletproof glass and we just need this one detector component. If we get that detector component, we should be completed with this. So let's see what we got in here. Bum, bum, bum. You go ahead and make one detector. Let's see what we need for that. It looks like we need some platinum. And it's not showing platinum. Oh, it's probably because we don't have any. This, these asteroids didn't have any. Yeah. So, hmm. I guess we'll just leave that piece undone for the moment and see where we go. Grab some of the uranium out of this thing. Three should be plenty just to keep this thing powered for a very long time. Go ahead and cut this uh, stub block that we put on top of the projector, and now we've got a ship that moves. All right, that's not bad. It looks like we got about 11 years if we're not moving of uh, power in this thing. That's it's pretty good for three uranium pieces. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pull this uranium out and grind down this projector. We'll put the projector on the the lump and that'll allow us to easily create the grinding module for it. So, let's tack it right on the side here. Uh, it's a good enough spot, right? Make sure it's aligned. It's pretty good. I still don't know how the uh, directions work on these things, but it's close enough, right? At least it's something there so we don't have to remake everything by our memory because, you know, our memory is not very good. <laughs> not bad. Let's go ahead and get this uh, blueprint for the uh, grinding module in. Let's see if we can find it in my, my list of things. And there it is. It's showing up backwards. So let's see if we can flip it around really quick. Let's see, boom, boom, no, uh, the yaw is what we want, we'll do some of the other offsets, get it kind of close, a little bit lower and over to the side, see how close we got, oh, pretty good, just one off and maybe one by two off or something, so let's see, right about there, Woo. Let's go ahead and move this around to the side so it's easier to access. Let's see. The first piece that we're going to want to do is that, that merge block. So let's grab a handful of pieces. Um, probably need some um, steel plates, a few computers, some motors, construction components. Uh, let's see how close we get with this. Nice. Looks like we're just short of a couple steel tubes. Grab a few of those. There we go. Good merge block. Woohoo! I 
think what we'll do is uh, try to get the middle section of this and see how many components we have left over. We might be able to complete the entire thing, but just to be safe, we want at least one grinder that's operational. So, medium cargo container connectors. Doo -doo -doo -doo. A lot of interior play. And a little bit more steel play for that one grinder in front. Nice. Got a little bit of a frame going, so go ahead. Turn this projector off. And we can get all these components filled in. Let's see. A lot of construction components. Let's see how many we can hold. Do, do, do. We need a display for the cargo. And for more, oh, we're full, filled up. Filled out. Gotta grab a handful more pieces for this. Let's go ahead and throw all the stuff that we have on us into the container. We'll grab a bunch of construction components and motors and uh, enough uh, large steel tubes to hopefully finish it up. We'll just fill this thing, do a little bit back and forth. Need a bunch of the small steel tubes and construction components and then we'll have this little at least one grinding module done and I think we might be able to finish the entire piece you know which might be pretty good because this uh this one grinding component is kind of looking a little little phallic to us <laughs> might just be me you know I, uh, I got that really bad mentality uh, mine's always in the gutter right so Looks like we got enough components to get this entire piece done. Let's get these pieces welded up really quick. Or really slow. <laughs> right, look at that green light. We're moving along nicely. The most important part is the connector on the back so we can throw all the spare pieces, or I guess pull all the spare pieces out of the unit somehow, pretty easy, more efficient. We'll be doing quite a bit of that with this ship. Let's change the ship's black color. Let's keep everything pretty consistent. And we have to have the the reactor's red. It's just the way I like to do things. And perfect. It's looking pretty good. Let's just jump back into this cockpit and... Oh, let's get to the terminal. Flip this projector back on. And we should be able to finish up these pieces. Tag these two on. We'll get this side done first. Pretty certain we've got enough components to do everything that we need on this, so getting a little bit low on the, the motors and computers, but might have to make a couple more. We'll see. Maybe we'll have enough. Hmm. Alright. Another conveyor tube. Almost done with this grinder. few more construction components. I think that's going to about finish that little section up. Might want to get that landing gear tacked on too. Steel two. So one large one. Let's see. 
This will probably be another word of steel too. The landing gears require them. Yep. So two more and I, th I think that'll complete her. Just enough. Barely. <laughs> Perfect. Weld this thing together. No, we don't want red. We want to make this black. This black. Let's wrap up this last grinder since we have the components. And we've got our completed little grinding module. That is so cool. Listen to the sound of that grinder. This thing's going to go down fast. I think it's about time we call it an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next time.